should start at the beginning. So apparently, Eric's a little troublemaker. Yeah, I'm I'm a bad boy. I actually never saw that one coming. I'm gonna take them, okay? Oh hey, look at the <laughs> Gonna have to shut that down. I steal things. And it's fun for me. I steal water bottles. I steal hats. I steal everything. I steal your iPhone. I steal your everything. So watch out you. Now, see, I'm fine with Anna's whole anti-authority phase because that's exactly what it is. It's just a phase that adds a bit of flair to Thrive. Not that we really need much flair because, well, we're Thrive, but Eric's stealing stint, not good. I push a lot. I push people down the stairs. I push people onto ping pong tables. What are you doing? Oh, not oh. <laughs> There's only been one time where I hate pushing, and that's when I wipe out. I just hate wiping out. So anyway, I was like, Going to the mall, and then we're like gonna buy clothes or whatever. Buy it. Is this, I also. Is this edible? Yes, babe, eat it. Oh my god! It's not edible. You know, I think this entire hooliganry thing started because it sell baseball bat at him. Oh, he's joking. <laughs> oh, I'll save you. No, 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 no. no. Why are we spinning around? <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was probably a bad idea to let that relationship go on as long as it did. I mean, they broke up like 117 times. And Sel and I are not together. Yay! Yay and more yay. That should be a red flag, but I thought they were just being weird. Want it? Yeah? yeah. yeah. I'm talking to him like a dog. <laughs> There's many things you don't know. Finally. I think, I think he likes her instead now. What? That's but you know, I'm fine with it. I'm completely fine. I guess it's kind of cute that he's doing this to win the affections of a girl. I used to do stupid things to impress girls back in my day. I listened to Screamo and pretended to like it. I pretended to enjoy everything Disney and shun everything Star Wars. Oh, the irony. I had to keep my celebrity crushes under wraps because a certain baseball bat, <laughs> baseball bat got a little jealous over Amy Adams. She's like a million years old. I went vegan for a while. All this to say, impressing girls by me changing myself got me nowhere. And because I'm the paragon of all that is awkwardness, I need to make sure Eric doesn't go down the same path that I did. I think I just called Eric awkward. Oh well, he's in junior high. He's supposed to be awkward. Did I just compare myself to a J hire? So you want to do track, right? No. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to javelin anyway. So okay, throw it at me. Throw it at me. Throw it at me. Oh my god! Why would you do such a thing? You need proper form. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh like a ballerina move. Is that a ballerina move? Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Pretend that my legs all the way extended. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Not, not you see, that's what happens when you don't do it in ballerina pose. See how I was just standing and doing that? That's a fail. That's called a fail. I jumped into this role, uh, not really realizing that we'd have bad kids. You know, I thought the worst thing they'd be doing is sticking gum underneath the couches and stuff, or sneaking lemon heads 
from the snack bar when I wasn't paying attention. Don't you dare steal my lemon heads. I never thought that we'd actually have a vandal slash thief person in Thrive. I didn't think. I didn't think about that. I think all the time. I'm gonna have to deal with this the only way that I know how to deal with it. Doritos? <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my fridge. Ew, why don't you wipe it out, son? <laughs> yeah! We got him! <laughs> we got him! We got him! We got him! Yeah! Woo! Right here. Get up. Get up. <laughs> how you felt for what a loser! Right here. Seriously, for sure. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not kidding around this time. <laughs> We're gonna talk about your your uh, your your little your little crime spree thing. Stop being so what freaked crime? out. Crime? Stop stop being crime. so freaked out, dude. We know about crime. we all know about this, dude, like dude, 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 dude. Stop lying. We're like at youth group, which is a part of church. If you lie in church, that's like I know you think it's cool to be a punk and everything, but be a punk musician, not a punk punk. I'm a punk musician, or I was. And, you know, that was like so much cooler. I got more girls that way. <coughs> now I know you're doing this life of crime to impress Anna. What? And um, I know you're what? doing that. Every single time you say what, that's like a confirmation that you know I'm right. I see all. I see all. I see all. All. You are part of all. You look super shocked right now. Oh my. So life of crime, not cool. It's not cool. I gotta say this because I'm here for all intents and purposes. You guys. So I have to say that. What? You're not. Did you hear a single word I said? No, not really. Okay, I'm gonna give you some advice. Next time, the next time you go and like steal something from someone, like from someone's house, I bet you've done that before. It's okay. This is confidential. No one's gonna know anything about this. No one's gonna hear any part of this. This is not being filmed. The next time you go and steal from someone's house. Be polite and let them know beforehand. That way, they can call the cops on you, but you still steal things, so it's a win-win situation. Scare them with the consequences. It's like a verbal spanking. My parents did that to me, and I turned out just fine. So that's my advice. If you're gonna steal from someone, just let them know at first so that they can trip you or something. Because crime doesn't pay. That's why they steal from banks, because crime does not pay. They have to steal money. Does that make sense? Your, your brain's like, right now. Whole, Sorry. Whole what? thing. You haven't listened to a word I've said. Stop stealing stuff. We don't like you. I'm kidding. We love you. I'm gonna go now. And yeah, go walk away. I'm glad we had this talk. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad we had this chat. I'm really glad we had this chat. I feel like this is very important. I, I have learned more about you now. I think I fixed him because I'm the for all intents and purposes youth pastor. It's what I do. Now that we're past this hurdle, we can just go on with youth group life and things are gonna be... Oh. Hold on. I just got a message from Eric. I think my methods backfired. That's a first. Are you, are you on? We're gonna do a balance challenge. We're doing a balance. We are gonna do a balance challenge because. Balance challenge. Yeah. Alright, we count of three. One, two, three. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. 